Hey guys, um, I'm honestly excited that Instagram is thinking to remove likes. I don't think it's a bad thing. I know this might sound really weird coming from like a influencer. I say that with the quotation marks because it's fucking gross and cringy. Um, but yeah, I would consider myself that makes content online and does that for a living. Um, and I feel like removing likes is one of the crucial parts to measure your self-worth. That sounds really fucked up that I'm saying that. Um, but I don't know. I feel like a lot of us can agree that when you post something online, you feel really nervous and you get anxiety of how many likes it's going to get. You question who you are. If you don't get enough engagement ratios, if you just don't hit a certain number, you question who you are. And that's really fucked up. Because when you think about it, why is Instagram, Facebook, social media, fucking social media? <laughs> it's, it's because they want to make some place where people can connect. And the founder of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, announced last week week, this week actually, that they're going to focus on privacy and going private, almost going backwards. And I know this left a lot of you guys being super confused on what this means. So today I want to share my honest top three thoughts about what this means for influencers. You know, are you going to start to be able to get brand deals still? Are you going to still have ways to contact people? Like how is this going to roll out for people who have this as a full-time job? Because in the beginning, I was a little scared. <laughs> um, and I'm going to go all over that today. So if you want to know, just keep on watching. I'm tempted to not edit this video just so I can let my true honest thoughts come out. I feel like sometimes when I overproduce content um, with all these editing and effects and stuff, I tend to filter myself. So if you don't mind me, let's get started. Um, I want you guys to know the history and context of why Mark Zuckerberg is removing likes. So this goes back in 2018. Facebook was not really having a good rep with being private and caring about people's data because uh, there's a scandal with Cambridge Analytica, which is a data company, that Facebook and Cambridge Analytica were sharing data for political campaigns. Now, that's a no-no. It crosses so many lines. Like, I don't know about you, but we don't like it if, you know, your address gets leaked. You know, it's just safety. It's privacy. It's we have the right to have our own private conversations. So if you ever are scared that, like, Instagram can read your DMs, they're trying to basically fix that because at the end of the day, it hurt their business so much. Like the whole Cambridge Analytica scandal really hurt <laughs> their, um, cause like no one wants to work with you if your fucking data is just like leaking everyone's like, no, like the people of the platform like us were, will stop using it. So just realize like they're actually making a business decision. A lot of people, when they hear like the roving likes, you're like thinking like, wow, like Facebook is not caring about, you know, being a business or something because you have to make more money as a company. But like truly, when you think about it, you're going to lose more money if you don't care about the people of the platform that use it, that support it. Um, you need to care. You just need to care. Um, so I'm really excited that now today, you know, Facebook had a conference and Mark Zuckerberg announced that the future is private, that they want to fix their <laughs> scandals, that they want to focus on you being able to talk to your friend and not feel like you're getting like watched and they want to have secure encrypted messages. This is why you're going to start seeing um, a change, that they're going to be more private. It's going to be more of a place to connect with people and you feel safe talking on the platform. That's why they're trying to remove likes, time feed even, they announced that, and focus on messages and stories. So what does that mean? So basically they just noticed through data um, that if you're curious on why I know all about this, I've been literally just like stalking all these marketing conferences and updates because I knew at least from my personal experience that there needed to be change. I've seen, sorry to roast some people, but I've seen way too many Instagram fashion bloggers with the same feed filter and fucking bio. Like it says public figure. And I'm like, who are you fucking public figuring? Um, and I've just been seeing it as a distance. So if you're wondering why I know so much about this, um, I'm, I'm a freak. So anyways, um, like I said before, the new priority is stories and DMs and messages and groups. Like talking to people. That's what they want to focus on. They realize that on the feed, people are just leaving comments and likes for their own for their own selfish ego. Like rarely do you comment something to connect with people anymore. It's all the same like engagement group saying nice shot, bro. And if you know the history of Instagram, like they hate engagement groups. Like, like they banned it for life and they want to shadow ban people because, you know, they can smell fake. 
Um, we can all small fake. You know, if you realize you have a dip in followers, maybe you have bots and they're trying to clean up the bots because if they're spam, their Facebook is no longer gonna be the platform that they made, which is to connect people. And we all know how mental health has been evolved where people care too much about how they like. I'm a, I'm a victim of this. Like I care so much about my engagement ratio and how many comments I get. And I'm like, it's preventing me to create the things I want to. So realize that that's why they're making decisions, not because they hate influencers, but they want to help us. So here's where I'm going to kind of talk about your guys' questions. I know you guys were like saying like, hey, Jade, what's what does this really mean for brands? And I'm going to go into more of the business side of it right now. <laughs> Excuse me, um, because I'm pumped. Like, just so you guys know, I'm pumped. You're going to see your favorite fucking public figures start to just vanish on, in the air over time because Instagram's going to change. And I think this is the change we've been needing. So the first question we got, yeah, um, is from B. B, I love you. If you don't know B, um, she was a subscriber. And then I met her in Boston at the meetup. Um, and she's amazing. I would consider her amazing friend. Love you, B. Like, shout out to you, B. Okay, so B asks a question. Um, if you guys don't know, I talk to you guys a lot on the comments. So like, if you have any comments or questions, just let me know and I'll, I'll get to you guys. Um, she asks, how will people measure social proof? And how will brands know which influencers they want to work with? This is such a good question. Because when you think about it, if you take away likes, how do brands know, you know, companies who want to sponsor you, how do they know how you're going to, you know, translate? How do they know how valuable you are, right? Because Kylie Jenner is worth, you know, millions of dollars um, for an Instagram post versus, you know, Johnny D who has like five followers, right? Like, you, you know how the brand deals are going to be a major part of this. And that's when I was actually really confused too. But when you think about it, this is where I have a prediction or an opinion. I think brands are going to start to realize that likes don't measure ROI in sales. Like that's the fucking, I've worked in e-commerce, you guys, you know, all the brands I work with, they don't care about how like, how many likes they get. They just care about how much money how much money they're going to make from this influencer. That's all they care about. So they're going to start to realize one. They're like, huh, all these fake influencers are charging me hundreds of dollars and I'm not getting any sales. This is a scam because I've seen so many people buy their followers and charge brands for it. I'm like, this is not cool. <laughs> um, so first of all, that's what's going to happen. Brands are already knowing that they're smelling some fish. So the second thing they're gonna do is they're gonna start to measure true impact. And this is where I have an opinion about it. I think impact is made upon how many times are you interacting with people, true connection. So this could mean Instagram DMs. This can mean group chats, phone calling people. That's how you're gonna measure impact. Like brands could go like, hey, Johnny D, you know, how many people do you talk to a day? And he's like, oh yeah, I, I interact with my 10 friends every day, but they listen to me. That's more valuable than no one listening to you at all. Do you understand how sometimes I have, I can speak for my friends who have millions of followers and, and, and Instagram likes, right? Like they tell me, Jay, like, I feel so lonely. Like I have all these fans and followers, but in real life, like I don't have someone to go to. And I, I feel that like I dropped out of high school, right? Last year. So I lost a lot of school friends and I did make an internet friend more specifically like 200,000 of them um on youtube um but i felt so lonely and there was only like a few people that actually cared and i was just thinking about how to get more followers and subscribers when i should really focus on how to get like how to interact with these people truly and go deep um and that's why i like to travel and meet you guys in real life and make an actual effort to care about people so that's where i'm gonna just kind of put my opinion and be like brands are just gonna be smarter and they're gonna realize that true impact in, in interaction is based on how many conversations you make. So I feel like they're gonna prioritize DMs, like 100% DMs or comments. That's what they're gonna focus on. Cause you can't fake a true conversation with people. The next question we got is um, from, okay, actually a lot of you guys were saying this. I believe um, one of you guys named, oh yeah, Nija. Nija commented on my Instagram post yesterday and said like, okay, Jade, so I'm freaking out. And a lot of you guys maybe might be freaking out. Uh, because I did an Instagram live and the first thing you guys were saying is like, what? This is some crazy shit. Okay. Um, Instagram moving, moving likes isn't going to happen overnight. The idea of what I'm saying that they're going to start prioritizing real interactions is not something that's going to be a cliff. 
this is a curve and it's going to be over time these fake influencers are going to plummet over time you're going to see priority in not how many likes you get but how many people you fucking impact that's what's going to happen over time and they're going to start to roll it out in canada they're going to roll this feature out like everywhere else but us like that's my prediction i feel like the last thing they're going to do is like remove likes for the us they're going to test it out in multiple markets first and instagram smart because they don't want to shock people too fast so that's why they're going to do this slow curve so do not be afraid you are at the very beginning of the curve it starts right now and watching this video if you are a content creator will get you so ahead like you don't understand like i just wanted to make this video just to warn the people that i know are watching because i i hear your guys' stories and you guys are so creative and you have a fucking message to say now most people they just post on instagram to fucking i don't know make money and like call it good and like just like get their fucking i don't know coins and like money and likes and stuff like that but like i know some of us make content posts because they want to help others like and share their art so that's who i'm talking to like that's good if you're the other person um <laughs> i love you i was there you guys you have to realize i can't even speak because who am i to judge i bought followers one more time you guys know this i bought followers i think 2017 because i was so eager to fucking be famous and have clout but i realized it's not fulfilling it, you don't you feel so lonely still so that's why i feel like it's gonna happen over time and slowly and it starts today so the first thing i want you guys to know is how what does this mean for people i actually wrote a blog post about this a month ago of what three things you can do to take action to be ahead of the curve on instagram and i wrote it a month ago because it's weird like today they announced it but like a month ago they were also making hints so for people who didn't believe me <laughs> okay um so the first thing i did write in the blog post and i'll link it below is they're going to focus on stories and 24-hour content so people don't want their you know their thoughts to be forever permanent on the internet right you prefer to have a story it's less pressure they're going to focus on that so content creators who maybe are artists maybe will focus more on like creating a song a day or for you maybe just like sharing your day in life so that's the first thing you're going to focus on um at the meetup yesterday in new york you guys um i love i love you guys okay as you can tell um but one of you said christine so said to me that you know she sees more interaction on stories than her own likes so she told me like you know what i'm gonna focus on stories so that's the first thing focusing on 24-hour content that's not forever uh, permanent i think the next thing this can mean is to focus on going private direct message people talk to people I know this is hard. I know we're all awkward at parties in the corner, like just chilling, but make conversations with people. Whether, um, and I have a whole video about this actually. Let me know in the comment below if you want me to make a video how to make genuine connections. You would think this would be a skill that everyone has, but I know making social connections are hard in real life. So how are you gonna do that online? You know, honestly, that's my whole thing. Like, what do you think about it? Social media is like fucking hard if you don't make good social connections in real life. Um, so for example, this is a random thought I had just popped up, but like, who do you really listen to in real life? Like who was the last person that you took a recommendation from and you went to the restaurant, right? Typically it's your friend. Rarely it's that person with 90K on Instagram. Just a thought, right? You listen to the people that you meet in real life. So what's the fucking point of like blasting out content to an explore page and feed if it truly doesn't impact people and people don't listen? I think that's what Mark Zuckerberg is just realizing. Like people don't fucking listen. Brand deals are not as you know effective because if people don't really care about this person, they're not gonna buy this product. So truly rem remember that the friends in your real life, the people that you love, I love my mom, I love my dad. Um, you know, those are the people that are influencers. Those are the people that make impact. I would consider you don't have to be an influencer to make influence. Like that's just my whole spiel. So realize like going private, just making friends in real life will be the future of Instagram, weirdly enough. I know that sounds kind of strange, but in a weird way, we're kind of reversing back in time. A lot of you guys were saying that this reminds you of Snapchat, um, but yeah. That's what I think is going to happen. We're kind of going back to where we started like 10 years ago, where social media needs to be more social and less media. So with that being said, you guys, I want to know your thoughts. Like if you have a question, comment. If I didn't answer anything in this video, let me know. You have to realize how much I care about you guys. There's a reason why on YouTube I haven't been posting videos that are like how to grow because it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> Sorry, excuse my language, but like your niche does not define you. The content you make and how many likes you get is not your self-worth. 
you're worth so much more and you have so many more friends than you need you don't need to have everybody in the world love you and i hope this can encourage artists and creators that brands are going to also smell that and you can start to make a living off true interaction and impact and i hope this gives you hope because it certainly did give me hope. Um, I'm someone who felt really nervous because I don't get as many views as like all my other friends or whatever. Um, I don't get as many, I'm not the most like loved by everyone, right? Um, but I don't need that fucking shit. Like all I need is like a few of you guys that truly, like if you don't fuck with me, you don't fuck with me. I just need a few of you guys to just like say like, hey Jade, like I stand and that's all I need. Like. I don't need millions of subscribers. Like, I used to have goals of, like, millions of subscribers. Like, no, like, I just want to fucking talk to you. So, please comment below. Um, and I love to chat. Anyways, shout out to the comment winner. <laughs> I realize I'm not editing this video, so, like, how the frick am I gonna pick a winner? I'm gonna pick a winner from Instagram. Shout out to Tegan K. She says, I'm hyped. A lot of you guys are hyped, too. So, at Tegan K. I'll link her below. You're an OG. Thanks for commenting. You freaking rock. Okay, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm actually headed to London um, tomorrow morning for the next meetup. So if you want to meet me in the UK, Paris, Munich, let me know. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay, I love you guys so much. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.